Hey guys, welcome to another revival review. Today we're going to be looking at Pure Summon Iridia or Kid Iridia, whatever you want to call her. I have if the game sound was on. And as you can tell by my party, we're going to be testing out something pretty unique. Also, that happened on the JP side, although it's not going to be as crazy or phenomenal as Dark Knight Cecil. I think he's going to be like the top of the chain. But there are some interesting things she can do too. So let's get into it. She has this ability here that you can water AT chain, which is perfect for a certain other summoner duo. So. Lock is only here to, to uh, imperil for water. I forgot which one it was, so. <laughs> and then the other ones. And then she's only here to, to give everybody uh, a philosopher garage to work with. So we're gonna have to ignore a little bit of the damage, but the damage is so minor that it doesn't really matter too much. So there we go for that. Wait, where's... Which, what is it called? It's not this. Oh, here it is. I'm pretty sure this is it. I was really worried that you couldn't dual cast it, so... Because that would ruin the whole video. Okay, let's go, let's see. Fairly strong. Um, and considering, because I have to use my own units, uh, I had to share Esper equipment, since I don't have so much for everybody, so... It's kind of split between them. They both have kind of a decent amount of spirit or uh, summon gear between them. And I kind of just threw a bunch of stuff on them in, in any case. So, in this, unlike the other review, I actually do have her seven stars, so we can test out full potential. <laughs> so this is a pretty insane move. They're giving eight MP to everybody. Giving it it cost MP though, but so it's gonna be kind of like they're gonna be kind of on different language language. Uh, wavelengths for a little bit but eventually they're going to be able to have full esper orbs constantly because of this ability and having the parasols and everything available this is what her passive looks like so also very nice uh increasing the modifiers for other abilities and also giving 100% lb damage which is quite strong because it's 40 hits, so if you have two of these, it's going to be quite strong, I'm pretty sure. Unfortunately, we cannot test that because I only have one other of her, and it would only be a 6-star form, so looking at the 6-star form, it wouldn't be not nearly as strong. But, let's keep going. Don't need for any of them, let's just go again. So we have a full Esper Orb, or, or Esper Gaj again. Now we're not, we're not topping any damage charts, but I'm just showing you how crazy some of these uh, buffs are. Like, they, they obviously really liked Final Fantasy IV, giving such strong uh, buffs to these characters. Yes, this is not going to be as exciting as the Dark Knight Cecil one. Now you guys are seeing that we're still doing quite a bit of damage, and it's AT water chaining, which honestly she does not have very many partners to on the JP side, so this is a very interesting and, well, very uh, great development. So, again, we'll go again.
the rest of her kit is not really that great, and her enhancements aren't really not that great. Because they're a little old on the old side. Like, uh, her tornado and quake chaining are completely useless. The ability here. The bottom where she gets, like, some modifier plus, it's just not really worth enhancing anymore. And the other one that's kind of strong, I guess, this one was only one hit move, so it's also really weak. But I did enhance the passive, of course. Of course I enhanced the passive. Because it's actually not too bad. Uh, that 20 hit move is interesting, but it would only really be good if you had a dupe. And I do not, so... Fortunately this move is kind of... And it takes so long for it to come out, just like her, her, this one, this cooldown. Unfortunately, we won't be able to buff again, so let's just go again. Yeah, there really isn't much to say. I mean, she is, she is very, very, very strong, that's for sure. She's got a lot of good things about her, and she can water AT chain with a few others, like Satan, if you have them. And some other units like the, the one I'm using right now. So we're gonna give another run, but it's just another nice, nice water, nice, nice addition to the water AT chaining family. There are not very many of them, like I said. Getting full Esper Gage. But this time, I think we're gonna try and uh, summon finish. Let me get the Esper Gage going. Let's try using the other one. It's a lot weaker, but. Still fairly strong, guys. Still fairly strong. You can fit a whole uh, thing in here, so let's try and see what we can do with this. Uh, they came a little too late. You gotta perfect the timing a little more on that, but our, you guys, you can see our damage went up substantially, but uh, she, her, most of her gear got taken away because I had to put them on these two, so. Not nearly as strong as it should be. That's okay. Not to happen any damage charts, but I mean we're still we're doing we're doing quite a bit of damage. Gotta say, I really wish we could we, we would be able to use this cooldown, but. It uh, takes too long. It takes too long to get here, so... That was a heavy hit at the end there. We're doing, we're doing some good damage, that's for sure. But uh, unfortunately we don't have... We, we would need another turn in order to use her as a cooldown ability. So let's do one more for the road. Oops. That's my mistake. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you have Kid Radio, she's a very good summoner. Her enhancements would like to be better. Maybe something will happen for the global side, it will be a little better. If she hasn't already gotten them, I don't remember. I don't remember if she had gotten them yet or not. If she did, oh well. But take a look once more at the this. It's very good giving MP to everybody as well as being able to cast. So she's only losing like 12 MP per cast. So it's not that big of a deal. Plus, that's the LB gauge if you're dupe chaining, which 
unless you're asking someone on Reddit or in your Discord or some like one of your friends, you're not gonna find uh, a kid radio anywhere on your friends list. Even like a random, you're not gonna really find any to add. It's it's very 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 hard. It'd be very hard to find unless you asked for one. <laughs> but I'd be really interested to see uh, the LB chain with that lone, lone burst damage increase at the with the passive. So. Top notch summoner, and that's all I have to say about that. Well, next time we're going to talk about some other units that got buffed recently that are also really strong. So, if that interests you, uh, tune in for the next one and please subscribe for more uh, old, old unit reviews. Revival reviews, that is. Catch you next time. Peace.